So you want to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. And it will work with an Xbox controller, but also PlayStation controllers, Switch controllers, and even the Steam Deck and many more. Pretty much any controller that you can connect via USB or Bluetooth to your computer can be used with Minecraft Java Edition. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, we're going to be using the Midnight Controls mod for this. Midnight Controls will allow you to play Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.4 with a controller. It's the mod that makes it all happen. And you can see down here some of these supported controllers, all the ones I listed plus more. And uh, even if it's not on this list, it's probably still supported as long as you can connect it to your PC. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, go to the versions tab here. And we want to find the version of Midnight Controls we want. Well, this video is for Minecraft 1.20.4. So we want the 1.20.4 version here. If you're a bit confused by all this, you can also just filter for that version. And then you want to download the most recent one for 1.20.4. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download, and while that's downloading, have it's from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your Minecraft server and play with your friends the simple way. Nevertheless, we have Midnight Controls downloaded here. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. It's 100% safe to do that, but there are a few more things we need to download, specifically the Fabric API and the Fabric Mod Loader. The Fabric API is, well, an API that links mods to Fabric and is needed by a lot of mods, including Midnight Controls. It's linked in the description down below, and once you're here, just scroll down and click the Download Fabric API button. This is the official download page for the Fabric API, where you want to go to Files here, and then find the 1.20.4 version. Right here it is for us, and we want to go ahead and click the three dots, and click Download File, and it will begin downloading. Once that has downloaded, we need to download the official Fabric Mod Loader as well, because you need all three. You need Midnight Controls, you need the Fabric API, and the Fabric Mod Loader. This, of course, is also linked in the description down below, and once you're here, scroll down, and you'll find a complete in-depth text guide for getting fabric that goes more in-depth than we can in a video like this. So, if you want that, it's here for you. Otherwise, go ahead and click the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link. The reason we're going with that over, let's say, Download for Windows is because if you download for Universal Jar, it's going to help you with other Minecraft mods in the future and kind of just iron out some issues you could have. So let's go ahead and download Universal Jar. Then, you can see it's downloading. You may need to keep or save the file again, depending on your browser, but it's 100% safe to do that. Now, at this point, we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and move the files we've downloaded to our desktop. Now, for me, they're going to be in my Downloads folder, and then here they are, Fabric, Fabric API, and midnight controls move it all to your desktop it's not going to stay here forever just for this video once you're done with this video nothing will be on your desktop well i just shouldn't say nothing these three mods won't be on your desktop to get started we're going to work with the fabric installer and you want to make sure it's the fabric installer not the api right click on the fabric installer click on open with click java and click ok but nick i don't have java here well if you don't have java here what you want to do is go to the description down below and get java 17. java 17 is required for minecraft mods and midnight controls is a minecraft mod so we want to make sure that we go ahead and get java 17 if we don't have it and then you may also need to run the jar fix what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to java making them work together but first get java then run the jar fix now we can go ahead and right click on the fabric installer click on open with click Java and click OK. That will then open up the fabric installer where all we've got to do is make sure 1.20.4 is selected, make sure create profile is checked and then click install. It's going to download and install fabric because well, it's that easy. It does everything. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. You want to make sure both of those are closed and then you also want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. If you only play Minecraft with a controller, it's possible you've not played the most recent version yet, which is understandable, but you'll need to go launch Minecraft 1.20.4 just to the main menu and then close out of it in order to be able to install Fabric because it needs that downloaded locally to work. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and click OK here because it is successfully installed. We can close out of the Fabric installer and delete it from our desktop. Now let's install Midnight Controls in the Fabric API. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and in here you should have a Fabric installation, but do not play Minecraft yet. We want to install the mod before we launch Minecraft, so we want to make sure that we don't launch Minecraft here. But as you can see, we do have this Fabric installation. 
If you don't have the fabric installation here, that's okay. But no matter what, every single person watching this video needs to go to the installations tab up here at the top. Then make sure modded is selected. As you can see, when we don't select it, fabric's not there, so we want to make sure modded is checked. Now, if you don't have this fabric installation, I'm going to show you how to get one. But if you do have fabric 1.20.4 here, go ahead and skip forward about 15 seconds. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click new installation here. And then we want to name this simplegamehosting.com. You don't have to. I'm just naming it that because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click this drop down box. Here you want to select release fabric loader 1.20.4, right like so. And then we want to change our resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game. That's not required. Then click create. Now we do have, if you didn't have the fabric 1.20.4 profile before, we have one now. You can see fabric loader 1.20.4. To install midnight controls, what we want to do is hover over the fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that's there by default, and click the folder icon. That'll open up your Minecraft folder. Now in here, you should have a mods folder, but Nick, I don't. Well, I don't have a mods folder either. So all we've got to do is right click and create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then open up your mods folder and drag and drop Midnight Controls and the Fabric API into this mods folder, right like so. Now we can go ahead and play Minecraft. We just want to make sure we're playing it with the Fabric installation and then click play again when prompted. And now Minecraft is going to open up and we can use our controller with it. Now, at this point, you've not plugged in your controller and you can, but I always plug it in when I'm on the Minecraft main menu just to show that it's working and things like that. So let's go ahead and get to the Minecraft main menu and I will go ahead and plug the controller in to show you it's working. So as you can see here, we are on the Minecraft main menu. I'm going to go ahead and use a USB cable to plug the controller in and wait for it just like that. X input gamepad is now selected and installed and we are now moving around the Minecraft main menu with the controller. We can go into options here and if you notice on the right hand side, we do have this little new button. We can select that and this is the config for Midnight Controls where you can do tons of different stuff like what every button does I believe can be changed here which is really really cool. But by default it's very similar to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So let's go ahead and launch on up here into Minecraft Multiplayer and join this simple game hosting server. We can navigate to it just like so and this will work on any Minecraft server. So if you've just got the Midnight Controls mod installed you can play Hypixel, you can do anything. It's really really cool what can be done. But nevertheless here we are in game. The Sensitivity is a bit fast for me, so I would need to, you know, turn that down because it's really fast, and you can do that in that options menu I just showed you. But nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and jump with A. We can switch, you know, inventory slots with left bumper and right bumper. There's just so much that we can do. It's it's amazing. It, it's very much so similar to Bedrock Edition. Double tap to uh, A to fly if you're in creative, and then obviously you can left click and right click to place and break blocks. I would really have to fix that sensitivity and double tap on the uh, you know left stick to run. So much different stuff can be done here and um it's amazing it, it's like bedrock edition and you're good to go so nonetheless if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below and uh yeah enjoy playing minecraft 1.20.4 with the controller we'll see you in the next video i am out peace